back from that little break. Just finished building the sets. So we're going to take one more look at this guy right here. He was from the blind bag. He's pretty cool, but as you can see back there, I already have one. So, yeah, just I'll stick him there. You're a disgrace. Anyway, he was an alright figure. Before I go on to the sets, though, let's take a look at some of my super rares. This is an Elite from, I think, Delta. No, Echo, or Foxtrot. It might have been Foxtrot, because it's got the new stand. So there's that one. He's pretty cool. Then I have... Don't fall. Don't, don't you fall. Then I have the ODST. It might be a rookie... But I don't know. He just looks like an ODST to me. It's alright though. He's pretty cool. I think this one was the one from Delta. Might have been from Echo. Alright, enough of that. Let's get on to these sets. So first off, we have the Mongoose. All terrain. And here is Emil. Now these gray blocks are actually from the Fire Warthog. But I'm just repurposing them as stands. They're actually just temporary blocks. So, overall, this Emil figure is uh, pretty good. I really like how they did the bullets and his shotgun, just all black. His legs are silver, and he's basically got a mostly black design. His shoulder pad there is in red. I like that. Red's my favorite color. Just very nice figure overall. Especially this painted face, if it'll focus. Come on. You see a lot of pixels, uh, pixels. Anyway. Come on, focus. It'll focus, I swear. I don't know why this is not working. See, if it was my eyeball, I could focus perfectly fine. Oh, we almost got something. <sighs> Come on, this is a really cool face, though. And I just want to show you, but it's not focusing. Come on, focus. Let's try to darken. Oh, well, you get the idea. That's as close as I'm going to get to it. Anyway, so the mongoose itself. This is a pretty nice mongoose. We'll start at the front. Um, no stickers in this set. It's all printed. Um, there is a space between the two front things like it's supposed to be. The UNSC logo here. Another one here. But this one I think is spelled out. But it looks like the N and S have been scratched up. Again, can't focus. Even though this camera's... There you go. Now it now it does it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a meal off his little stand, take a shotgun off. And the problem with this Emil figure is that his arms are made of rubber, so his hands like to fall out. I don't know why they would do that because all the other figures, their hands and arms are made of plastic. This one's made out of a rubbery material and his hands keep falling out. So basically, he doesn't have a tight enough grip, so his hands keep falling off. So I'm just going to put him in here as best as I can, and his leg fell off. That's another thing with these figures. Too much force, not enough friction. Like, this guy does not have enough friction on that leg joint, so kind of have to be careful with it. I mean, pretty cool figure, how it looks, but play-wise, it's not really going to be doing you well. But I don't know anybody who would be playing with... You know what? Screw it. His leg's going to stay off. And then we would just have him ride the mongoose. If his arms can go that direction. Come on, meal. It's tough. It's re it really is tough. All right, let me see if I can stick his other leg back on. 
Come on. Um, okay. Well, that's as best as I'm going to get it. It's not going to stay on, but there you go. He's taking the thing for a joyride. You could push him in there a bit more, but again, my thing just decided to say screw it and break. Man, I don't know why this is so blurry. Like, come on, zoom in. Even when I put my hand here, it doesn't properly focus. And I don't know why it's doing that. Let me try this. Um, that doesn't seem to do anything. Suck. Alright, well there's the mongoose. I think it's pretty good. Pretty cool. I'll just stick him here. Watching the camera. Alright, now we got the flame warthog. So let's take a look at the red gun Ganeer first. Now, man, this is just all going to shit. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Alright, so the red gun Ganeer, it's not going to focus so well. I'm trying to focus, but it's not focusing well enough. So he comes with a black saw. Yeah, no focus. Anyway, his head, there's a little white dot there. You could tell because it's blurry. And there's a white, or I mean a yellow strip going down his face. Maybe if I do it from back far enough. That's my arm. I wasn't farting, I swear. Anyway, well, that's the best look you're going to get him, sadly. Except maybe from right there. Next up is the yellow Gunganeer. Um, he's got a target locator. Pretty nice mold. And he also has a shotgun in black. I'm surprised they didn't do it in like a gray color. They went pretty cool. Like, screw you, Emil. Pew, pew. I don't know. Shotguns might not reach that far. Stick him to the side. Alright, and what we were here for, the flame warthog. I think this is a pretty cool design for the warthog. Um, it's got the suspension, so if you press on it or if it goes up a hill, the tires will adjust accordingly. The flame design is very good, and so is this silver... Huh, that's weird. Oh, I must not have pressed this in all the way. There we go. Anyway, there's silver uh, paint on that piece, so it reflects, and there's a little bit on the front, too. Two seats. There is your steering wheel in there. Right here. Then there is a little antenna and a turret. It's a pretty nice turret. Um, it can pretty much do all the bends you could think of. I mean, the middle part can spin, but I would not suggest it. It might hurt this rubber piece. So let me see if I can get one of these Gunganeers to pilot the turret. So I'll just stick the saw on his back. Blech. Man, it does not want to stick in his back. Oh well, I'll just do it this way anyway. All you really have to do is stick his hands onto the handle and then he'll go around with it. So there you go. He holds it pretty well. Uh, these guys' arms are not made of rubber like Emil's. So again, pew pew to Emil. Honestly, I think this is a pretty good warthog design. Um, before I finish this up, let me put the yellow uh, Spartan into the driver's seat. It's kind of harder to because of how these figures stand. Let me just get him out of the way. Gosh, put his arms up like he's having a party. It's, like I said, it's very hard to get him in there, but once you do, it's okay. I push his arm in there, and... Yeah, you get the idea. Make it look like he's turning or something. 
I don't know what's wrong with this turret. It seems to be tilting. That's a bit better. Anyway, there you go. And I think I'm going to end it there. Anyway, um, if you enjoyed this very bad review of these three things I've shown you, um, <laughs> leave a like or a dislike because it was pretty bad. I messed up a bunch. Anyway, um, let me know if you want to see more of this in the future. I'll try to get some more stuff. Uh, thanks for watching.